Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Agustin, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Good to be with you. Well, you've been on my show before. I remember you, and hopefully you remember me. You are my hero with the South Beach die because it's going strong. Great. Yep. It's um, we've we've made some adjustments over the years based on new science, but uh, the principles are the same: good fats, good carbs. And we've also sustained the first phase of the South Beach diet, which is the keto friendly phase because it gets rid of all the sugars and the processed carbohydrates, all the, the, the breads, rice, pasta, potatoes, the starchy carbohydrates that only make us fat. You must have been talking to my dietitian because she's already done that. Good for her. <laughs> good for me, really good. Good for you. I want my audience to know that Dr. Agustin is a cardiologist and a creator of the program, the South Beach Diet. Dr. Agustin, one of the questions when I told my audience you were coming on, they want an explanation of what the keto diet is. Sure. The, um, <laughs> you know, because we have been told to eat so many carbohydrates, and that's again, there are good carbohydrates like the non-starchy vegetables like asparagus and broccoli, but we've had too much starchy carbohydrates, the bread, rice, pasta, uh, too, much, too much sugar, and that's what we use for energy. That's burn. It's not the most efficient way for us to get energy. When we decrease that in our diet, we start burning fat, particularly the bad fat that's accumulated around our bellies. That's accumulated for the next famine, which we never have. It's, helped, it's good for surviving a famine, but it's associated with obesity, with diabetes, with heart disease, uh, with Alzheimer's, and it's, it's all bad fat. When you get rid of the carbohydrates, you start burning the fat as fuel. When the fat's burned, it's, it's turned into what we call ketone bodies, which your muscle and your brain loves. We start thinking better when we're using more ketones. So the main thing with the, the idea of ketosis is when you're using less carbohydrates and more fat for fuel, it's healthier, you feel better, and that's what the future of nutrition is going to be. That's exciting to understand what we're talking about. So tell us about the way you have tweaked the South Beach <coughs> diet for more keto-friendly meal options. Sure. I mean, again, the first phase of the South Beach diet was always keto-friendly. We've tweaked it over the years. For instance, in recent years, it's become very clear that in the category of good fats, that full-fat dairy, for instance, full-fat yogurt is good for you. Uh, the, the, the skim milk, the low fat is not good for you. It has more, it has more sugar. So we've tweaked it. We're saying full fat dairy is a good fat. Now we've known for some years now, trans fats, those are the hydrogenated oils used in all the, the commercial baked goods, the cookies, that that's really bad for you. So that's very much in a bad fat. And in general, in America, we're getting too much vegetable oil as well in many forms. The vegetable oils, particularly soybean oil, corn oils, that's in the, in the category of omega-6 fats. They're essential, we need some of them, but we're getting too much and not enough omega-3. Those are the fish oils, the healthy oils. And there's a ratio between the, the, the too much omega-6 and then not enough omega-3 that your doctor can actually measure in your blood. It's called the omega-3 index. So that's another tweaking that we've done as far as good fats, bad fats. Uh, this, is a, this is a diet you can test yourself. In the first few days, you can lose fluid because you get rid of more salt, which is actually healthy, but you have to replace salt, replace fluids. And so the only real side effect is a little tiredness at the beginning. 
but then you're going to have more energy. You're going to be thinking better. Uh, your stomach's going to be better. You're going to have less joint pain. You'll generally feel great. And to the degree that you have belly fat will, will predict the degree, the speed that the belly fat will, will come off and that you're going to feel better and stronger. Okay. I got one question I'm going to take from Facebook. They want to say that everything in a grocery store is almost labeled organic. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's good, you know, locally grown. Um, years ago, er everything was organic, was locally grown. And if it is, that's definitely a, ben a benefit. When we, with the Industrial Revolution, when we started transporting foods, all of a sudden, shelf life became important. And that's when we added a lot of preservatives, a lot of trans fats that were made it cheap to transport food, but not good for us. If it's truly organic, locally grown, Absolutely, that's healthier. Dr. Agustin, you are a giant in the industry of, of eating. What trend, what other trend do you see for us this year, 2019, before I let you go? <laughs> well, I think um, you know, the, the, the commercial food industry is making it easier and easier to stay on keto-friendly, first phase, South Beach diet. And so originally with the South Beach diet, we had the first phase for two weeks, we thought you had to eat more food, more variety. Um, there's a great variety that you can eat now in the first phase of diet. Overall, there are more and more commercial entities that are making keto-friendly foods that are healthy. Now with SouthBeachDiet.com, you can have it actually delivered to your house if you don't want to, if you know, if you don't want to cook. So it's getting easier and easier to stay on the first phase, the keto-friendly phase of the of South Beach diet, and to extend that for months and even years, which is healthy and it's great for you. Dr. Arthur Axton, thank you so much for talking about the South Beach diet, the changes, and how we can be more healthy. Thanks for always being a guest. Thank you. Great to, great to be back with you.